What's up, YouTube? This one's gonna be a little longer, somewhat different. We'll see how it goes. Hey, y'all, last night, Joe Biden incensed millions of Americans by publicly making the bold and controversial claim that democracy is good and should probably be protected. Damn, when did Joe become such a firebrand? Am I right, making contentious statements like that? We'll see how it goes. Now, anyone whose brain works will recognize that as a stance which would have been no shit Sherlock levels of obvious to any American from the time of our founding fathers up until roughly, I don't know, almost two years ago. But this is 2022 and idiocy reigns supreme. So many on the right were very upset by it. They were like, I don't know why he has to be so overtly political and divisive it's like, yeah, you know, I've always said, I hate it when the president gets all political. You know, won't you stop worrying about the fundamental underpinnings of our society and stick to pardoning turkeys, all right, Mr. White House man? And yeah, also divisive. They're worried about Joe Biden being divisive. Yeah, y'all. Turns out the fuck your feelings, build a wall, all poor people are lazy miscreants party. Really, they just wanted to bring us all together. And see, that's all Republicans want is unity amongst Americans, you know, except for Mexicans and Muslims and immigrants and gays and trans and black people who defy them and women with opinions and poor people who want to be able to afford to live and just generally any marginalized group that demands equal treatment under the law. But with those few exceptions, they just want us to come together as one, guys. They've been on fire with their immune to irony statements recently. When Joe Biden said that MAGA extremists were semi-fascist last week, they got their feelings very much hurt by it. They were like, semi-fascist, really? Really? Okay, well, I hope all the libturd queer snowflakes out there realize that name calling, that ain't gonna get you nowhere, okay? We're better than that, guys. Now, they are on one right now. Even though Biden clarified that the MAGA extremists are the threat and not sane mainstream conservatives, it seems the entire right wing has gotten offended by it, which is wild to me because I'm a white man from the South. But if someone says the Ku Klux Klan sucks, I'm not going to get all up in arms about it on account of I'm not an evil racist ghost pig. All right. I feel like if someone implies that MAGA extremists are dangerous and that offends you, then me thinks your ass doth protest too damn much, okay? Maybe instead of vilifying Biden, you should be standing up and applauding him for trying to assist you in pulling your own party back from the batshit brink, all right? Joe Biden is right. It's a damn shame that it needed to be said, but I'm glad he did, okay? All right, YouTube, quick break, do something a little different. This video, though the opinions are all mine, is sponsored by Private Internet Access, the world's most transparent VPN provider. Here's the deal, you and I, all of us, we are on the internet. And on the internet, there are certain elements that wanna take your data, steal your information, spy on you. Your privacy is very much at risk out here. And some of us don't appreciate that. And if you don't appreciate that, you need to look into getting a VPN from Private Internet Access. Here's how it works. Because it changes your IP address and reroutes your internet traffic through an encrypted tunnel, private internet access hides your online activity from your internet service provider, network administrator, and government sensors. Yeah, y'all didn't know I did that little cutaway to a fancy video, did you? Me neither, but I did. Uh, and if you think that sounds complicated, it's not. Let me show you how, just how easy it is. Look at this right here. Boom, I'm connected just like that. Ain't nothing to it. Listen, private internet access offers the most customizable VPN experience out there so you can make it be what you need it to be. And the options are endless. You ever been told you can't watch a ball game because it's blacked out in your area? VPNs can fix that, all right? Private internet access has VPN servers in all 50 states. If you need to look like you're in Oklahoma for a college game, you can do that. If you need to look like you're in Alaska for a, to watch a dog sled tournament, you can do that too, okay? Whatever you need, so it's past time. Y'all checked out VPNs from private, private internet access. And now if you click the link in the description and the pinned comment, y'all can get these VPNs for 82% off. That's $2.11 a month, $2.11 a month and three extra months free because VPNs from private internet access always come with a 30 day money back guarantee. Y'all can't beat none of that. All right, it's time to keep these people out of your internet business with private internet access VPNs. It's especially true when you contrast it with what's going on with the primary target of his ire. While Biden's making that speech, Trump's down there rifling through Playboy magazines and unsold copies of his book, trying to remember where he left that list of foreign assets his buddy at the KGB wanted. What the hell is going on there? I don't know if Trump is selling all that stuff or not, but if he is, I bet it's led to some funny interactions. KGB guy's like, why is this part of document still redacted? 
It's like, huh? Oh no, that's that's a mustard stain. That that'll come right out. No, big guy loves corn dogs. What are you gonna do? The whole thing has been a master class in Trump fuckery, especially all the goalpost moving that's gone on. You know, initially it's like, this is a disgrace. They're not gonna find anything. They found all kinds of stuff. Okay, well, that's it. That's all there is to find. There's nothing more. They know that there's still more to find. Okay, but you know what? I was actually allowed to have all that stuff. You were told explicitly multiple times that you were not allowed to have that stuff. Okay, that's fine, but it's not like it was ultra top secret or anything. It all says ultra top secret in huge red letters right here on the front. Okay, but you know what? Actually, I declassified all that stuff. That's not a thing that you can do. All right, but you know, it's not like any of it's been mishandled or misplaced. Over 40 of them are clearly misplaced right now. All right, well, you, what, what what about Hillary's email? The laptop? Where's the laptop? What the fuck is going on? It's wild. You know, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I never expected Trump to face any consequences for all his shit. You know, this is America. Rich, powerful white men facing consequences. Not generally something we do here. But in this case, it almost feels like he's trying to make it impossible for them not to indict his ass. And the right's reaction to it all is a good illustration of what Biden was talking about earlier. Lindsey Graham said, if you try to indict him, there's going to be riots in the streets. That's right. They're holding us hostage, y'all. Saying if we expect that man to face legal consequences for breaking myriad laws and endangering our national security, then they hope we know that they're going to go out there and burn everything down and see how much we like it then. And oh, by the way, we better not ever imply that they're fascist again. It's never been more clear than it is right now that Biden's right. There are two types of people in this country. There are those of us who still believe that things like freedom, democracy, privacy, choice, the law, and reality matter. And then there are those who would gleefully cast all that aside in the name of owning the libs. All right, there are two sides. It is time to pick one. Love y'all. Whew, it's hot out here at YouTube. Listen, that thing in the middle, not saying it's gonna be, that's the thing that came up. I decided to give it a shot. Not, not committing to anything. We will see how it goes. If you're still here, I appreciate you being here. Right about now, you should be seeing these uh, the squares and circles come up. There's another video for you to watch, a shorter one. Uh, hope you enjoy it. You can also click the circle to subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it, and I would very much appreciate the other circle, which is a link to my website where I have tour dates and tickets available for you to come see me live, which would mean the world to me. Either way, I appreciate you still being here, and I hope that you continue to do so. Love you like chicken. See you. Bye.